The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel to the new video XRP minus 1.53%. That's this candle over here. You can see it's sitting right below uh, above the 20 moving average and below the 10 moving average right between there. It's like not quite sure what it's going to do. So we're going to check that out. That said, we have something called daily outcomes video. If you need some help with picking coins, uh, what's good, what's not, check the Patreon link below. Also check the Telegram link, uh, 3,600 members trying to hit that 4K uh, uh, goal. So do join uh, the party. Let's get into the charts and see what's actually happening and see what's uh, XRP doing right now. So yesterday, that's this uh, green candle over here, was very nice. Uh, we actually managed to get back above the the 20 moving average, that's the red line uh, down, uh, uh, down there. And uh, it looked kind of good. Right now, it's just doing exactly the same thing as Bitcoin is doing. It's undecisive, it's not going above the 10 moving average, but it's not falling below the 20 moving average either. So like, and it's you can see that the, the, the week went all the way down to this very important line at 1.42 uh, testing as support and now it's picking back up again. So what's gonna happen? It's kind of hard to tell but uh, we are not out of the dump yet. Uh, also this other one 138 line uh, just below over here is actually holding nicely. So as long as we are not falling below that uh, all good and dandy all good and dandy. Let's see what's happening on the 4 hourly chart and on the 4 hourly chart you're gonna see some some same uh, uh same movement uh we went uh, after bottoming out down here at 138 actually technically we went all the way down to 1.21 uh we were ma we managed to actually pull up all the way up to the 50 moving average on the four hourly chart where we got rejected and right now we are retesting this 10 moving average uh, and uh, 200 moving average right below us so we are actually at some kind of lo very the lowest points we should be going because this is four hourly time frame uh you don't want to actually go below the uh, you don't want to go below the 200 moving average and stay there for too long. Uh, it can happen, like over here, it did happen, but we got found some kind of support and we went up again. So right now we don't want to for a second time go below that level and uh, stick there because that's going to be kind of bearish, kind of bearish. Uh, there, is, uh, there is one uh, trend line over here, it's going something like this, I think. Uh, we are, first of all, we are in, the big, uh, one, in a bigger triangle. Let's just remove this line for a second and talk about the bigger triangles, just so you know what's gonna ha what's happening on the daily time frame. We are in this bigger triangle that we are trying to get out of. Uh, it, it's uh, it's very decent triangle, uh, acting as a resistance up here and uh, support down there. So we are technically just looking to get out of the triangle. It's not gonna take that long. Uh, this is a uh, 12th of May, so uh, long as like 10 days. But I think like within a week, maybe this week, next week, we should be getting out of the, the triangle either on the upside or on the downside. Now, preferably on the upside, and I think it's going to be an upside because on the downside, we got this 50 moving average. So if we are supposed to go, if we go down further down here, we will be breaking 50 moving average on the daily time frame. And that's that's kind of bearish. You got you to admit that's very bearish. You don't want to do that. Uh, now the, that the 50 moving average is coming closer and closer to us. Uh, the way I'm thinking is this is actually looking like we are getting into the last part of this uh, this consolidation period before we actually uh, enter it uh, on the upside. Uh, now, bull run is not finished yet. So that said, uh, well, we think it's not finished yet. I mean, it can be finished, you know, especially, you know, if uh, some kind of war in Middle East starts and uh, the market starts crashing and, you, you know, you never know. Maybe this is going to be good for crypto and we're going to go up. But right now, right now, it's kind of undecisive period. So I think we got a little bit more sideways movement before we actually get out of uh, here. On the four hourly chart, uh, the thing that's going to tell us that we are actually going up is not this trend line over here, although we are gonna keep on watching that is this trend line down here because right now this is some kind of down, uh, downwards trend line after we hit the top over here we are trying to break it on the upside you can see here several times uh, we are trying to get above it we cannot get above it so this trend line is acting as a really nice resistance for the downtrend and it, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, fast uh, fast fastly going down so I don't I think I think these moving average especially the 10 and the 200 moving average might actually help us uh, start climbing above this resistance and once we are above that resistance I think uh, the other one line this one uh, line over here the triangle uh, the resistance will be broken as well 
Uh, this is on the four hourly time frame. So te technically, once we are above uh, 153 or something like that, we should be actually uh, uh, doing quite nicely because then we are above all the moving averages. Right now, this uh, it, 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 it is the yellow line, the uh, 50 moving average that's actually holding us back. If you can just remove this. This yellow line is the one that's actually holding us back. You can see here, here clearly. Uh, here we could not break it. Here we couldn't break it. So we want to break, uh, technically we don't want to break the 50 moving average. Uh, and the 50 moving average is actually going to help us uh, get above it. Uh, so for today on the, on the, on the, so for today on uh, uh, XRP, uh, there is not much happening. You don't want to fall, start falling below 142, 138 or something like that, because that would be very bearish. Now that can happen with the week. We can wick down just like over here. We can wick all the way down to 123, but we want to close uh, preferably above 142 for the next day as well. Uh, we don't have to get above uh, the 10 moving average, but we want to stay above the 20 moving average. That's the, that's the line over here. Uh, that is uh, said, Yesterday's candle was actually quite bullish because we actually managed to get back, back above the uh, 20 moving average. Right now we're sitting in some no man's land. So there is some kind of, I think on the 5 minute chart there might be some kind of a, tri a small triangle here. Let's see that in, on the 5 minute chart. Now, I always tell people like don't look at the 5 minute charts and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, there, there, nah, there is no, nah, there, there is no triangle over here. There is a, uh, there is line, there is bottom line, there is a descending triangle at best, there is a descending triangle at best, yeah. Uh, so what we are looking for right now, it's actually just getting above it, but I, I don't think nothing, nothing, nothing big movements are going to happen today. Uh, it's basically uh, sitting in a no man's land waiting for uh, to see what Bitcoin is going to do. Uh, so un unless Bitcoin uh, decides to uh, go down like crazy, I, I think we just might actually just be sitting up here. Uh, still 12 hours, 33 minutes left for the daily close. So what's going to happen? It's really, really hard to tell. If somebody is better technical analysis than me and actually it, uh, knows that we are going to break up and down and knows how to figure that out, I would be really appreciative of uh, of that information. That said, I don't see actually anything that are uh, indicating that we are uh we should be going down or something like that i'm just checking so right now because i didn't check these uh, uh these uh, uh uh divergences or anything but the, yeah th there is there there is a divergence there is actually a divergence guys there is a divergence it's a very bullish one but it's already played out i think i mentioned in the previous video as you can see over here the price over here is actually going upwards from this uh, point to this point. The price is going up. I, I'm going to use another line over here for that. Uh, we're going to use uh, uh, this one. And uh, just so you can see that the price is actually technically going up. You can see here the price is going up. The price is going up, um, meaning these bottoms, uh, this bottom and this bottom and this bottom is higher than the previous bottom. That means the price is going up while the RSI on the 4 hourly chart is going down. You can see here clearly uh, it, it is going down and the RSI is going down. So that's the divergence that uh, is actually already technically played out because it's a 4 hourly divergence. Uh, it helped us play out and we went all the way up there. So, but it is a bullish signal and it is actually uh, a quite decent signal. So right now, only thing we need is the staying above the uh, 10 and the 200 moving average, and then maybe re uh, going up and retesting the 50 moving average and trying to get above that. You can already see that we were below the uh, 10 and 20 moving average with the week, and then we got right back up again. So come back tomorrow, stop by tomorrow. Let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't think nothing exciting is gonna be happening today. So kind of boring video in that respect. Uh, there is no kind of action happening as, you know. Uh, so subscribe to the channel, come back tomorrow, see what's happening, check down links below. Meanwhile, you know, Patreon if you need some help with picking coins and uh, check out the Telegram, Treat, uh, trying to get that 4K subs, uh, 4K uh, member on the Telegram group. Thanks for watching, see you around, bye-bye.